Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to the FIFA World Cup edition of FIFA 18 where today we are moving on to the knockout stage of this World Cup series. Today we are going up against Poland in the round of 16. In real life, the destination for England is in Moscow against Colombia. So two completely different opponents, but I feel like on paper we should be better than this team. Uh, the Polish did get knocked out. I think they actually... I'm not sure if they finished third or they finished bottom of their group, but they had quite a rough tournament, so I'm just hoping that we can <laughs> not do the same. So, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this game now. I've made a couple of changes since the last game against uh, Belgium in the final, or well, that final sort of group stage match that I'll go into here in a sec. So, I've brought uh, Pickford in for Butland, and also I'm just going to keep the... Uh, I've, did have Jones playing, but I've taken him out because, well, obvious reasons. Uh, Vardy, in, although he's going sort of average in real life, I mean, he's only played one game and, and had a bit of a struggle. But on this tournament mode, um, it, well, he's a golden boot right now, as you can see here. Oh, t tied for the golden boot. Kane's still doing well. He scored a couple of good games and, um, and got the man of the match in the last group stage match. But yeah, we are travelling to the Rostov Arena today, so without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this one and hopefully get through to the quarters. They've both been through the group stage, but now it is do or die in the round of 16 for these two countries. It's England against Poland from the Rostov Arena. It's live. Welcome to you all to the Rostov Arena. We're still at the round of 16 stage in the World Cup of 2018. I'm Martin Tyler, and alongside me, Alan Smith. Our match today is England play against Poland. It's an international fixture here, Alan, that'll bring back memories for you and your England career. Well, it is a proud moment. You stand there, you sing along to the national anthem, and uh, you just want to do yourself justice for presenting your country. Eric number 20, Gary number 9, and now it's time for the national anthems. Number 11, Jamie Vardy. Well, over 50 years since England were last world champions, but in 2017, their under-20 team became world champions and offered hope for the future. Yeah, and you just hope that uh, that transforms into the seniors in a few years' time. It's not always easy because it's difficult for these boys to attain a, a regular place in the Premier League. Let's have a look at the England lineup now. Kyle Walker starts with Gary Cahill in central defence. Jordan Henderson plays with Deli Alley in the centre of the park. In attack, Harry Kane starts up top with Jamie Vardy. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Poland will line up like this for this game. Wojciech Szczesny starts in goal. Kamil Grosicki starts with Jakub Blaszczykowski on the flanks. And it's good to see them going with two strikers today. All right, here we go. Start of the knockout stage of the World Cup. Going to try and contain Lewandowski today. Besides that, if we can just 
get a goal early. Hopefully we can Could break dangerous. away from this one. Oh, it's an early free kick. All right, so early free kick opportunity within two minutes. So we can get it to Kane on that back post. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a bad interception. Oh, no, fuck, went the wrong way. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Lewandowski. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Challenges for the ball. No, Could fuck. Cut that out. Shut up. Oh, come on. Corner. Here's Dyer. Come on, get there. They spread it out wide here. Put it in. Oh! Pissed it away by the keeper. Packing power in this situation. Shit. Matikovsky. Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Come on. And the Shit, John Stones is injured. He did not need that. Two good saves by Pickford. I think that one was going off target, but still. Corner played in. Alex! Oh. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Well, they could pose some danger now. This is how the... Robert Lewandowski! God, I cannot get FIFA to freaking pass to who I wanted to pass to. Keeps passing view. off target yeah, like well, crazy. Really on him he didn't miss Keep much, losing the ball in the midfield, and I'm surprised Lewandowski hit that one over the bar. Usually he's on target every time. Man, we need to sort this out sooner rather than later. Decided to go infield, looking dangerous. Played away, well away from goal. And this is going to right, be a come on, break, break. A team of star come on, Vardy, go. Lovely ball from Ali. Coming on strong, looking to play their way through now. But, oh, my God. No, wrong person, FIFA. God damn it. Oh, he's giving it away. Now the shot. Corner. Fucking and hell. A possibility of making a chance to go in front. Uh, it's going straight to the keeper anyway. All right, we've got to make something off these corners. Played in by Jordan Henderson. God damn it! This keeper's quite good. Shit! No. Oh, what a save. Oh, Pickford. God. I'm glad I changed it to Pickford because I don't think Butland would have been able to do that. Oh, come on, just get the ball. Stop standing on it. Oh, my God. How the hell are we holding on to this? Yeah, he's no take goal a lot of credit for game that, right now. I mean, far to out. Shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. I tried changing to the player, and then I accidentally moved it off him. I mean, just cannot get anything going right now. Corner played into the middle. In really for All right, and that corner will mean it's half time. Oh, so, really, really poor half. We have not played well at all. I don't know if it's something to do with the rain or I just can't get the passes accurate. It keeps passing to a different player than what I'm trying to, you know, get it to. And also, I can't seem to defend. I don't know what's going on today. I keep getting switching players at the wrong times and letting Poland get back in behind. And yeah. Alright, so halftime stats, we surprisingly actually have more possession. Uh, I thought Poland had a lot more of the ball, but look at that, 10 shots. I mean, I'm so surprised nothing's gone in the back of our own net yet. I mean, 5 shots on target. Pit Pickford actually saved 2. 
in that half. That really should have been goals, so definitely going to stick with him throughout this tournament. I started out with Butland, but after seeing how well Pickford played in real life, I thought I'd give him a run in the Belgium game, and he was pretty darn good. So besides that, nothing really else in that half. I mean, no goals. 87% uh, pass accuracy is still looking pretty good, but still not good enough, apparently. We are definitely have to find something in this half. Now, substitutions. I'm actually going to take Danny Rose off uh, and bring Ashley Young on. Just because I don't know why, but Rose is letting too many people in in that back line. I was thinking about taking Alexander um, Arnold off. Unfortunately, I don't have any Trippier right now. Uh, he was injured in one of the group stage matches, so he's sitting out this game. Uh, but besides that, I'm thinking maybe Lingard or Sterling for Dyer later on in the half. Maybe bringing Rashford on as a super sub towards the end, but we'll just see how this next half goes. Because, well, I mean, we have to try something. Nothing's working right now. We've got fresh legs on the wing. Here we go. Brought these two nations together. Come on. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Gordon Henderson. It's it. God. Very quickly. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Here's Dyer. Deli Alley. In quickly. Young. Piece of interplay between the two. Ashley Young. Well, they keep moving the ball here. Henderson. Come on. Oh fucking hell! He Just gonna take one well. more touch and shoot. Now that's a throw. Deli Alley. Switch of emphasis going. Inside. Oh come on, Deli! Oh fucking that's shoot! Why is it taking quick. so long to shoot? Nice oh, these guys pass. are just taking forever. Cahill. Here's Dyer. Vardy. Jordan Henderson. Attacking well here. Yes! Oh, what a goal! Finally, we have a breakthrough. Finally, there's a breakthrough. We've really controlled that last 10 minutes save. well. Oh, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Oh, Vardy Defenders scores again. In the end. Well, he reached out and got his foot to it. I right, think mate, yeah, that's a good change, actually. Now that we got the goal. In, but it really was a good finish. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Henderson. Oh. oh. He's blocked that well. And the referee spotted that deflection. Should have just it drilled it. Tried to place it. Thank God we got a deflection because that was always going straight to the goalkeeper. Here's Dyer. Deli Alley. On to the attack now. Good vision here. Come on, surely. Oh, Kane, no. That would have sealed it. That would have so sealed it. Time for a change. They've got to try and improve their performance somehow. Oh, and they do need a bit more momentum. Shit, no! Oh my god! How did he get that through? And how the hell did Pickford save that? My god! Oh, I suppose it was straight to it, but still had to get down for it. How the hell? God. Shit's nerve wracking. Corner played into the middle. Defended well. That is a clever pass. Oh, how's he, he wide open? Here. Oh, wow. Good Horrible defending. touch. Doesn't want to get caught in possession here. Oh, 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 oh. Play no. the goalkeeper. <laughs> good judgment, good hands. If only they'd played like That's this it. a bit earlier, they wouldn't be in this position. They're chasing the game. Deli Alley. And the added 
three minutes and we're into the quarterfinals. Come on. Shit. Shit. Oh, Pickford. Oh, my God. He saves our ass again. Yeah, it really should have been all level now, shouldn't it? And the more you Just get it out of here. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. How the hell have we not conceded? Assistant looking very confident about that one. Uh, offside. The referee gave the offside. Oh, my gosh. Almost four of them offside, really. Come on, 15 seconds and it's... No, 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 get it. There we go. Fuck, come on. And it's over! There we are, final whistle. Into the quarterfinals. Only just, on a bit of a march. scare, I must say. Into the World Cup we cannot well play played. that way yeah, against well teams done. such as France and, uh, and there, Brazil, but got the away with it today. We're going to have to go away and figure out how to change some things because that was too close to call today, or too close for comfort I should say <laughs> can't even speak English I'm so really good shift gassed after that game but it was Vardy's volley that broke through in the end and thank god that it did so in the end it was 1-0. Six shots in for us. I mean, six shots on target as well. So we weren't spraying anything by any means. We just couldn't get in a position to score. I kept losing the ball just on the edge of the box or trying to get through the midfield and losing it. But 57% possession. So we actually did have a lot of the game. And that 10 minutes before we ended up scoring, we basically had Poland on their heels, which is what finally helped with that breakthrough goal. But again, 13 shots, uh, eight, eight shots on target, of which I think four Four or five or six of them were incredibly good saves by Pickford. I'm just so shocked as to how we uh, did not concede in this one. But a win's a win, and we'll move on to the quarterfinals. But before we do end this video, let's go and have a look and see who we're going up against. So Croatia beat Sweden, so it looks like we're going up against Croatia. And on the other side, it's interesting to see how different it is um, in terms of, well, in relation to real life. So right now, in the way FIFA sees it, <laughs> Portugal are through after beating Egypt. France are through after... Oh no, sorry, that's not Croatia, that's Costa Rica. I'm such an idiot. Croatia is... <laughs> is uh, well, has been defeated by France. How, so how does Costa Rica get through on Sweden? How are they even in the... The playoff, I mean, the well, the the finals. I mean, Jesus, that's a that's a different one. But on the other side, we have Spain versus Argentina after Argentina knock out Denmark in penalties. And have, well, that's funny how that worked out. Spain versus Russia. Uh, well, most people probably would have said it would be or would have been three nil in real life, but a bit of a shock penalty win by Russia. So Germany, though, that's a big one, beating Brazil on that side of the table so that's very interesting i mean germany are out in the group stage this year in real life so big shock to see them uh get knocked out but just as big a shock to see them knock out brazil well i guess it's not really that much of a shock out having looked at what they did to brazil four years ago but another shock on that side of the table is senegal beating belgium so senegal will go up against germany and what should really be a, a simple match for germany you would think on well on, by stats obviously not in real life but we have got an easy game within reason going into the quarterfinals i mean costa rica on paper are, are, are good but then obviously no no germany or, or spain or brazil or france so hopefully we can get the best of them and uh, get through into the semis where we will hopefully face either france or portugal but Messi and Ronaldo are still in this tournament here on FIFA 18. So thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a bit of a close one and a little bit dire at times, but we managed to scrape one in in the end and that will increase Vardy's total to six goals on this series. So definitely run it away with the golden boot and hopefully we can get a couple more for him against Costa Rica next week. All right, and until then, I'll catch you guys later.